Get one more question. Where are we at? Where are we? I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I uh, read on the beginning that uh, the Arabic oxygen was supposed to be exposed to uh, direct sunlight. The reason I ask is that I travel a lot in my vehicle and I do enjoy carrying a bottle of Arabic oxygen and Singapore's climate is where we get a lot of sunlight on the car. So what will happen to the Arabic oxygen under such circumstances? Okay, thank you very much for that, that question. Um, and, uh, sorry, when I drop in, you see a bottle of Okay, thank you. Um, I'll kind of answer that in, in several ways. Um, we talked about high temperatures, which will begin to dissipate the aerobic oxygen. Also, direct sunlight. Now, when we're talking about direct sunlight, we're talking direct sunlight when it's not in the bottle. If it's in the bottle, direct sunlight will not affect it. Um, if it's in the glass of water, um, you, the direct sunlight or fluorescent lighting will begin to dissipate the oxygen but it's over a long period of time. Um, it may take weeks or months for direct sunlight or fluorescent sunlight to dissipate that oxygen out of that glass of water. So it's, it's a long period of time. Now, with regards to how long can you keep it in your bottle of water? You can keep it in there almost indefinitely. Uh, keep it in mind that every time you take a drink, you're introducing new bacteria into that bottle. It's killing it. it you know, continually to, to treat that water, and you, you could probably keep it in there for months. Now, one of the other questions that we have had, and I'm sure some, some of you noticed, noticed, because of your high humidity and constant sunlight in that, if you put aerobic oxygen into some of those, those bottles, you'll get a strong taste to it after a while if you've carried it around in your cars for a little while. Um, once again, oxygen, aerobic oxygen does have a taste, and I believe that there may be some reaction or leaching of the plastic that's in those bottles um, that will affect the taste a little bit as well. Now that isn't a deterioration of the oxygen at all, it's just something that's taken place with the plastic. Um, the other question that comes to mind is, is that you'll find an expiry date on the bottle. We have aerobic oxygen that's 20 years old and is still fine. We put an expiry date on the bottle Primarily, uh, it, it's a regulation in Canada and the U.S. We have to have an expiry date on it. Um, and it's also with the aspect that you're opening and closing the bottle all the time. But there, there really is no deterioration in that bottle. We probably should put a uh, 30 or 60 day expiry date on it so you use it all up in 30, 60 days. But uh, this product will stay good for years and years. We have, we have it used in water treatment barrels in some schools in the United States, North America, that have been in there for 15 or 20 years, using it for purification of water. So don't worry about the expiry date. It's more of a label requirement than, than anything there.